this is my cat. And this is how I got him. Found this guy on my way to work. Yeah, he looked in a very bad shape. And look around him. All the garbage. Probably big cats or big dogs. They're gonna hurt him. I thought that might be it. That might be his last day if I don't take him. Huh. I guess I had to take him. Couldn't leave him. But he needs care. So much care. Talk him to the vet. And luckily, he was a nice guy. He was understanding. He, he knew I didn't have much money. I told him the story. He was just trying to save this cat. So he met me halfway. Thanks to him. Big thank you. Told me that this kid has been suffering so much for so many days. Lack of nutrition. And it needed food, it needed milk. And first, you had to take care of it and do, did something necessary. Give them a couple of injections. We offered them food, wouldn't eat. Then the vets came up with the idea, why not bring a healthy cat? So it will keep them company and they might start to eat together. No, that did not work. So we had to give him food through this BB bag. Yeah. Doctor wasn't sure. However, wasn't sure. He said he might not make it anyway. But I had to try. Couldn't leave him die. Couple of hours at the vet. It was dirty. But doctor said, the vet said it was not time to give it a shower yet. We had to take care, care of his food first. It needed food and also needed the medicine that comes with the food. So, for the necessary medicine, food, put it together as the doctor said, you call him Doctor, not the vet, just like the word Doctor. And he wouldn't eat much, so I had to force it into him. And thinking that he might actually like it at the end. And guess what? He did. He liked it. He started to eat and take the medicine at the same time. Started to gain some weight, I guess. Please the look, the look in his face. Started to look more comfortable. God knows what happened to him since he was born. I guess we'll never be able to know. But we have to look forward, we have to look ahead. And take good care of this little kid. You see the difference? Had to clean up nice, damp, wet clothes, comb him. You know, like a family member, you know, like a guest you haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> a little, like your little cousin or something. And see, now he's not afraid anymore. He got used to me being around. Now, for the next stage, real food, because that, the first kind of food 
you would not be surviving on that alone. It's not practical, it's expensive. Now, we have to get down to business and give him real food. So at first, the chunks, big chunks, he wouldn't be able to eat. I forgot, he's still a baby. So I made it small sizes. And yes, he started to eat. He started to eat. And now look at him. And the doctor told me he wouldn't make it. No, but he made it. He has a new life and they have a new friend. 